Alrighty, we're going to do the second part of the dog tag tutorial. Uh, with this particular tutorial, we're going to be working primarily in 3D. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on the word top, and I'm going to open up all four viewports. Um, I also like to have my perspective viewport shaded so that I can get a better idea of what's going on, so I can see it better. And so now we're ready to get going. I'm going to use a command called solid extrude planar curve, solid extrude planar curve and straight. Um, this particular command is a very easy command to use as long as your curves are closed and they are planar. That is really critical. Um, that is the number one problem that I seem to see with students. If, if a curve is not joined together, it's not closed up, and it is not on the same plane, it will not create a solid object. So, we do have that here with the dog tag at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and left click the outside of my dog tag, and I'm going to left click the circle, and I'm going to select enter. For the distance, I'm going to go ahead and type negative 0.125, followed by enter, and you'll notice that we've made a dog tag that is an eighth inch thick. However, you may run into a problem, and I say this be only because I've been answering this question this last week with my students in the classroom, and that is, there's an option. So let me go back through and show you what they were doing. So I'm going to go back, oops, excuse me, and we're going to do solid extrude planar curve again. And we're going to go to straight. I'm going to go ahead and select the same thing outside of my dog tag and the circle and hit enter. They had this option, both sides equals no, they had that selected on yes. And then they typed in negative 0.125. The problem here is you'll notice it did go down neg negative 0.125, but it also went up 0.125, which gave them the thickness of one quarter inch, which is not what we want in this case. So I hit undo. It's really important that I show you that just in case you do run into that problem. So I hit undo. I'm going to go back into the command. I'm going to re-extrude it. I'm going to turn that option that gets us some trouble off. Both sides equals no and I'm going to hit enter. The second part we're going to do here is we are going to go back into the command, so spacebar or right click your mouse and select curves to extrude. We're now going to be working with this interior rectangle that we rounded the corners on in our first tutorial. So I select that and hit enter and we're going to extrude that down negative 0.03. So I hit enter. doesn't look like anything's happened at this point if you look in the top in the perspective viewports. However, if you look in the front and or the right, there is actually a mass that we've created. We've extruded a little bit of a mass down inside our dog tag. We're now going to use that mass to do um, the command called solid um, difference. This is a Boolean command, and we're going to use Boolean difference, which I could have typed in as well as you can see on my command line. And we're going to use this to cut away and create a pocket. So, select surfaces or poly surfaces to subtract from. That is my dog tag itself. That's the, the, the larger mass, followed by enter. Select surfaces, poly surfaces to subtract with. That's the smaller interior mass that we just created, extrusion or solid. So, I select it, followed by enter. You'll notice here in the perspective viewport, we get a very good idea of what we've just created. We've created a pocket. We're now going to use that pocket. I can use, go to solid text, that's one way to do it, or I could go to the left hand side on main toolbar number one where it says text object. And you're going to get a screen that pops up. Uh, you'll notice that I'm using a font called Comic Sans. It's a very simple font to use specifically when you're in your machining part or making a part because it does not have any sharp points or corners. and uh, I also have it in bold. Uh, I have curves currently that I'm working with and they're also grouped together. So those are the options that I do have on and I strongly recommend you use. And the text height that works really nice for this dog tech tutorial is 0.3. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I could spend a lot of time here clicking and dragging and centering, but I'm just going to do eyeball it here for this particular um, operation. Next piece, we have our text. It's just curves at this point, but we know that if we have closed curves, we can extrude them and create a solid. So I'm going to do this a different way. Same command, but I'm going to type it into the command line called extrude curve. 
And when I get my option of the thickness, or extrusion distance, I should say, I'm going to type in negative 0 0.03 followed by enter. So we've now extruded curves. We've got a solid um, dog tag, but we want to Boolean union them. And that's, I could type in Boolean union, or I can go to solid union. And basically what that is, if you would, is the join command with solids. And so I window select everything and I hit enter. And we should have, with success, and we do, we have a solid dog tag that's completely unioned together. Congratulations, you just completed the dog tag tutorial.